Metro police discovered nearly a dozen stolen cars on the south side property. It is being called a chop shop by people who work at nearby businesses. Here's RTV6's Graham Hunter once again, who's been working for you to find out how this happened and what some of the victims are doing now. For three days, we worked to track down the owner of this property. You know, do you know much about the folks who are renting the place from you? No, I do not. Who says he had no idea stolen vehicles were being stored on his property. How is that possible? Well, I've been in Florida. While the owner was in Florida, police were working. They called yesterday and said that it was found on the south side of Indianapolis. Alexis Harris and her family rented an RV to take on a road trip. When they got back, it was parked outside her house, waiting for the owner to come pick it up. I woke up to go to work at 6.30 in the morning and it was gone. Harris says she still has the keys and isn't sure how it was taken, but according to police, it ended up here. Tow cars in and out a lot and work late hours. Kenneth works at another shop nearby. He says cars were brought in at all hours. 6 o'clock until early morning. Every once in a while you'll see them going out, scrapped out. What Kenneth thinks was going on next door? Illegal chop shop. They're stealing cars from people, you know, honest working people and that uh, work really hard for their money. We talked to some of the other victims who said their cars were rendered undrivable after a stop at this shop. Police found 10 stolen cars inside the gate, some stolen in Indianapolis, but others were stolen from Anderson and as far away as Jeffersonville. It's been so stressful. For Harris and her family who rented the RV, the ordeal included accusations by the owner of the RV that they knew who stole it. It at least makes us feel better to know that at least I wasn't dealing with somebody who was a crook and at least hopefully she feels the same way. IMPD says when stolen cars are recovered, they notify any other law enforcement agencies where the vehicles were reported stolen. Those agencies will then reach out to the car owners. In this case, IMPD says all of the recovered cars were towed to auto return, the impound lot the department uses. Reporting from the South Side, Graham Hunter, RTV6. IMPD has suspects in this case who they aren't naming because this is an ongoing investigation. No arrests have been made yet.